welcome to the channel. It's Rad from Rad Kutarot, and uh, this is going to be a, a Sagittarius Sun, Sagittarius Moon, and uh, Sagittarius Rising weekly tarot reading April 15th to April 21st, 2019. And uh, as I'm shuffling the cards, I want to remind you once again that that is going to be a, a general reading for Sagittarius star sign, and for that reason. The reading is going to relate to different things and is going to resonate in a different way with every single different Sagittarius. If you do want a more personal touch, meaning your personal situation to be analyzed by me through Tarot uh, and to tell you what is going to happen with it uh, in the future, that is a subject of a private reading and uh, for such you can check out my website uh, which is listed down below in the description of uh, this video. And uh, there you're going to find a full list of my services, as well as their pricing, starting from uh, just as little as $12 for the recorded readings and uh, $15 for the private call readings. So that being set aside, going to the Sagittarius this week, we are having powerful start here with the topic of the uh, chariot card that marks it. Then the second card is the negative approach toward the topic itself, toward the chariot. That is going to be the page of uh, cups. Furthermore, we do have the positive approach toward the situation, which is the nine of the the eight of cups. Excuse me to the chariot, and the last one uh, that is going to be the final outcome of growth. Uh, we do have the star card. So obviously, a, a very good week for you it is what we do have sagittarius so once again the uh, strength um, the strength the chariot card followed by the uh, page of cups then it is the uh, eight of cups and finally we do have the uh, star card so quite of a watery card is what we do have three out of four so it's going to be a uh, emotional week but emotions toward a, a positive end because it seems that you're going to have a, a significant triumph or a significant breakthrough especially if you are facing a, a situations guys that you kind of like feel uh helpless at the start of the week and uh, throughout the week as the chariot manifests itself you are to really see the the, the look of your hard work and um, the chariot as well point triumph leading to wish fulfillment as well but the thing with the chariot is that one needs to present himself just as one is meaning that you have to put your unique signature into uh, your endeavors therefore the whole achievement or the whole triumph the whole breakthrough has to be accomplished uh, or you have to accomplish it on your own without relying on someone else's support although such support com could come around the chariot is when one is facing um uh, and a, um, a big odds or how can I place it one is facing a situation that goes against all odds it's something like the battle in between David and Goliath all right so David which is the tiny person with Goliath that is a giant and David wins so it's something like that and um uh, for throughout this week you have to focus on those kind of uh, situations relationships projects and so on and so forth which there is a a little close to none chance those things to be manifested or to triumph for that uh, for that matter and as long as you have an, an iron will and determination and you have those things armed and you charge forward the path for success towards success excuse me is going to be revealed for you the accompanied card here that is going to be the two of wands so we do have uh, the formation of a passive enemies and with the two of wands here to the chariot you are fully fully ready to uh, basically make your conquest true and to reach the end goal of yours which that conquest holds as a crest of it uh, therefore, uh, Sagittarius, says you should not postpone uh, that manifestation, if I may express myself that way, in a sense of, for example, if you want to um, 
start dating with a certain person but you kind of have a, a low opinion of yourself that this person is not going to you don't have a you, you don't stand the chance that that person is going to pay attention to you why don't you instead self-pitying yourself try it out and you are to be surprised that after a couple of tries maybe they are going to be a, a willing to uh, give you a chance. And same goes for one career path and for one relationship. This this week is going to be a week where miracles are to happen and that uh, you are to, um, if you do have the iron will and determination, that is, to achieve heights that you haven't dreamed of. The uh, card that signifies how you should not approach this situation of the chariot card, that is the uh, page of cups. And simply as the page of cups stands as a one uh, changing their positions, in that case, it means that you should not change your position. Meaning that even if the things obviously does look like helpless to be achieved, uh, you bailing out on it and readopting your positions according to something different, for example, different person from the one that you yearn for or different career path from the one that you wish for yourself. It's not really an option available. Well, it is an option available, but there is no need for it with the page sitting on this um, on this day. Uh, on this position. The thing with the page on this position is that your emotions are very premature and uh, it is likely that as you follow those emotions, uh, it's, uh, they are clouding your judgment that there is a way out. So the way I see this week for you guys is that you are to traverse a, a failure into a, a grand achievement, into a, a grand success. Uh, should you be willing to put the work behind it and as well, like I said, having the self-confidence and determination and an iron will that is to uh, to charge forward even if the odds seems that are not in your favor. So whatever the odds are not in your favor, this is where you have to push push in. Uh, in this week. The accompanied card here that is going to be the two of swords. So the formation is a passive neutrals. And with the two of swords, it seems that you are going to be prone more to, uh, how can I place it, uh, to, to seek for peace. So the situation itself, which you have the opportunity to uh, achieve a victory in, it will require a bit of confrontation, fights maybe, you know, maybe people will wage war on you, uh, figuratively speaking, that is. Um, and uh, I just so because you will have a little bit of a tantrum and turmoil, that should not be a prerequisite that you should um, avoid it in a sense of that not lead your, your battle. Because uh, sometimes, you know, someone has to defend their belief, someone has to defend as well, you know, their opinion. And in this state, it's, it's not gonna, it's not gonna go away without a fight. What I mean is that if you want something, you really have to earn it. And by earning it, I mean, you, you, you gotta be ready to make those confrontations and to disrupt the peace that you are uh, usually in. Meaning, uh, just to give you an example of that, let's say that uh, this is a project you want to push forward, you know, but the project is almost failed now. And uh, just because you don't want to serve the bad news of what the project needs to your boss, being afraid what your boss is going to is going to say or how your boss is going to react you rather keep a silent treatment and the project fails so instead you should confront your boss because uh, in this specific variation of interpretation it is usually uh, the one that is sits higher in the hierarchy it's guilty of uh, the failure of the project so your supervisor took a wrong decision or your boss took a wrong decision and you have to confront them that they have taken the wrong, de the wrong decision here and they and it is not too late for them to correct that but once again it will require an iron will from your behalf to stand in front of them and to point them with your finger the uh, next card which is the positive approach to the situation that is the eight of cups and the eight of cups states as um even though the situation right now it seems quite um despondent and unsatisfying 
um, in the sense of that it is not how it should have been or how it could have been, all right? So you could have had a, a awesome relationship with that person, but you are on the edge with one another. You could have uh, made that project lucrative, but the project is failing right now. You know, should you, should you accept the, uh, the situation, cut your losses and try to find a way out of it instead of commiserating on yourself and self-pitying yourself as well, then a new perspective emerges. New perspective in the sense of a, a new option available for you to uh, traverse, like I said, the poignant situation, the failure situation, the situation of a failure into a, a situation of success. The accompanied card here that is going to be the uh, High Priestess, and with these cards, with that card, you should follow um, your intuition or your inner voice or your inner guidance the way you the way you want to say it. So uh, one day, just one day, guys, out of nowhere, you know, the uh, the right way of doing things is going to come up to you just just out of nowhere. It's like those uh, light bulbs that uh, that flash out in the cartoon movies, you know, for example, Dexter's Laboratory when Dexter is trying to figure something out, you know, and when he figures something out, you know, the light bulb boom, pops, uh, pops here on the right or the left of his, uh, of his head. So it's, it's something like that. You say, aha, so this is what I gotta do, you know, and, and this is how I'm going to, uh, I'm going to persevere through it. So do I have, however, the courage and as well, the determination and the tenacity to collect the luck of my hard work? Well, that is entirely up to you. Once again, should you indulge, indulge into the negative emotions like suffering over a um, broken relationship or um, self-pitying yourself that you could have done better and so on and so on uh, and so forth, it's not going to help you at all. I mean, you got to cut your losses here and really turn all of your uh, efforts and investments as well, either time, efforts, and so on and so forth, uh, toward this new perspective which emerges that will um, allow you to actually at least, you know, at least uh, end up on the positive end. How positive that end is going to be, well, that depends on you and uh, as well how big your situation is because it's going to be for a different staff for every single different uh, Sagittarius. And should you do all that, meaning you don't give up, um, you put the hard work behind so you can collect the, the fruits of it, you incorporate your original um, signature, meaning that it will require brilliant strategies, tenacity as well, and singularity. I mean, you have to be proud of your achievements and this whole process of traversing the uh, situation of failure into a situation of success also will require you drawing on previous and past experience and also past achievements, that is. So you already know, guys, um, what the right actions are either toward your current relationship or toward the person that you're interested in or toward the project. You already did them back in the, back in the days with something else. And now it's time to remember what you did back in the days in a similar situation and just do it once again. That's all, that's all that is needed. And should you do so, we do have the star card. So as we said that this uh, thing ain't gonna go away without turmoil and without certain confrontation, without certain fights, at the end of the week, this is all over. What I mean, the fights and the confrontations are all over because the uh, star card does represent end of a turmoil and a, a brand new cycle, should I say, of the same type of, um, of the same enterprise emerges where the cycle is very peaceful and the, the long-term prospects of the undertaking itself are um, uncovering for you. And, this, and at the end of the week, you are going to realize or kind of make an account that actually your extreme push at the start of the week was truly, truly worth it. As the star card does represent something to look forward to, as I said, either a lucrative opportunity or an opportunity of growth, you know, or an opportunity of, of, of um, influence as well. It could also represent unfolding love, that is, especially if we're talking about relationships, union and reunion, <clears throat> 
union in a sense of that you unite yourself with with someone else and you together move as an example forward uh, in time where you I mean you extract from each other a positive qualities as an examples and the accompanied card here that is going to be the death card <clears throat> the formation is active neutrals so uh, simply you save today it's because the death card here as an active neutral it does point that things didn't have to uh, change in a sense of that you didn't have to bail out you didn't have to give up all right on this uh, on this opportunity it's just what was needed it is a tenacity like i said and a bit more determination and to recognize yourself as someone capable enough you know to win against all odds here with the death card it is that um the end have been avoided okay so in in a if I have to give you an example, uh, and let's say your marriage is on the rock and it's not working out until this very moment, you enter into the week and suddenly you become determined to save your marriage, you know, and you have to make the work for it, all right? You just simply having the, 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 uh, the thoughts about it ain't gonna, ain't gonna help it or hoping that your husband or your wife is going to miraculously do something to save your marriage it's not gonna happen i mean what you need to do is by yourself strengthen the marriage by incorporating your own personal signature in it uh with the chariot card pressing your power and making demands that is refusing to let go and to accept that the marriage itself is a um for example it's a failure or it is about to fail okay and that will require from you, however, to scrap some um, outdated, how can I place it? Outdated behaviors and enterprises as well in the marriage itself. That is with the Eight of Cups here. And what was the other card? The um, High Priestess. Because from quite a long of t for quite a, lo a long time ago, you were aware that certain things, uh, certain actions or certain events that the marriage uh, had in, in within they are not working anymore and those things needs to needs to basically stop existing and they need to be replaced with new enterprises which you both are very much like and thrilled to look forward to that's that's that is that's all okay uh, so that being said, Sagittarius, this was your weekly tarot reading for uh, April 15th to April 21st, 2019. I hope you enjoyed it and you liked it. And um, once again, this was your general reading for Sagittarius star sign. And for that reason, the reading is going to relate to different stuff and is going to resonate in a different way with every single different Sagittarius. But should you want um, your personal situation to be analyzed by me through tarot and to tell you what is going to happen with it in the future, uh, that is a subject of a private reading. And for such, you can check out my website, which is listed down below in the description of this video. And there you're going to find a full list of my services as well as their pricing, starting from just as little as $12 for the recorded readings and $15 for the private call readings. Rat signing up now. See you next time. Bye.